Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Bars Gate 3. I'm your host, Lorefet. In this Bars Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, we're still in Act 3 and we'll go ahead and do the Onsir the Dragon Boss fight. We're going to meet Onsir the Dragon 2. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Bars Gate 3 videos like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell to so be updated more. One thing about the fight coming up, you're going to need a uh, wizard to be able to cast a level of invulnerability. If you're not level 11, do not even try. You will get wiped out. Anyways, let's go through uh, the doors and uh, go ahead and uh, get going on this. Welcome to the Dragon Sanctum. Interact with the statue and the way should definitely be open. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that at this very moment. With courage does the hero march. Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter, nor cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead, your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate and rise, great worm, heart of the gate. So here's the deal. I'll tell everybody on how to defeat Onsir the Dragon. It's so many different mechanics in uh, this one. So uh, and there's two phases exactly. In uh, phase one, this is a uh, very important. Onsir the Dragon has some uh, basic attacks. It could uh, also do multi attacks if you're too close. Flies in the air, likes to. Also, it lo does love to do lightning uh, damage. So yeah, good idea to have lightning resistance. Uh, lightning damage is a no-no against it. At one point, either at, uh, if I remember, two points of the fight I heard, mine was at 50%. So at 65 uh, and then 50%, Onsir the Dragon will go up in the air to do its ultimate attack. At this point, hide behind the ice is uh, suggested. Even better is use the Glove of Invulnerability. What the Glove of Invulnerability uh, does exactly is uh, this, everyone. This uh, powerful uh, magic will uh, do is will protect everybody inside the globe. So once Onsir's in there, do the ultimate attack, get everybody in it ASAP after they do their attack. Use your teleportation, anything else to go into it. Once you're all into it in phase one, Onsir will attack and boom, you will not take damage. Anyone outside the globe radius will die instantly. It's a one shot, one hit kill. Its ads will die too, yes. Now, uh, this uh, dragon will have ads throughout the uh, fight. Now, once uh, the dragon is below 50%, it'll change its attacks from phase uh, 2. Instead of the ultimate attack, it'll shoot out uh, circles. And uh, after a round of, uh, of, atta of, of attack that Unsur does, lightning will hit those circles. Those will do a lot of damage, so avoid the circles. If you want to, go inside the global invulnerability to hide there and wait for Unsur to uh, put those, uh, I should say, circles again. Smite, e I just say smite, not smite evil. Smite is heavily recommended, especially the fire one. It'll do a lot of damage against it, number one. Uh, number two, there is a uh, warlock spell named Hotter or something like that that's higher that does well. Any uh, daylight spell or light damage will actually do well against it too. If you can do a uh, turn undead or any powerful form to knock down Unsur during phase one, you get achievement out of it. Take out Onsur and watch out, of course, in phase one of the ultimate attack. And if you take him out in uh, phase two afterwards, just handle with the ads and that's it. Say it before doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and loot the course to start this. within you. He is you. The next 
amongst words that spill from your mouth and not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Ansel wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, then in you. Calm, curious, and detached. presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. A name I once answered to. A name I did not expect to hear again. Least of all from the mouth of an old friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Alderaan? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Balderan fallen? Stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansur, enough! I gave you everything, Balderan, and you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Balderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, Escape it!
This is my time.
Seems you are more interested in my past. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to found Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while, to watch my city grow, but it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea cooled to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed, my crew lost, but my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Of course I do. More so because it was Ansor. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. situation again. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. Two nether stones remain in the hands of the Chosen. We must find them before we confront the brain. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Ansur is dead. There will be no great tempest roaring through the skies, 
No dragon redeemer to save us. What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the Great Worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You braved the worm's lair, seeking a savior. Yet it was you, all of you, who vanquished the undead abomination which unsaw the cave. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. It is you who are the heart of the gate. Ansur is dead. There will be no great Tempest roaring through the skies, no Dragon Redeemer to save us. What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the Great Worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You braved the Worm's lair, seeking a savior. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. You're right. We are the warriors who'll slay the Absolute. We are the guardians who'll defend this fair city. Yes, the brain will fall and the people will hail us as champions. I could even claim my father's own ducal title and carry his banner after this. Grand Duke Will Ravengard. Marshal of the Flaming Fist, the city's truest defender. You might find it an uphill battle to get the city populace to accept a devil as their duke. The Absolute's end would be the guarantee. Devilish visage be damned. If I were to call myself Grand Duke, no Patriot would deny the claim. You're right. I fought to right the wrongs of the coast, to slay the monsters that hunt the helpless. What good is a champion who puts himself above the people? What good am I as a politician just out of reach? There will be no Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, and there will be no Blade of Frontiers. I am now the Blade of Avernus. For as long as demons and devils imperil the Sword Coast, they will be my prey. The Blade of Avernus! A calm settles over you. The Elder Brain is a menace, but with the Blade of Avernus at your side, you know you will triumph. The Blade of Avernus. A new name for a changed man. The four pillars finally rise within me. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. I'm not to abide them but to become them. Ah, but enough reflection for today. I'm of a mind to celebrate. A hearty meal would do the trick. A few hunks of fresh venison, a round of brown ale. What do you say? Wonderful. Uh, you hunt the deer, I'll scrounge up the ale. Prepare your belly for a roast a la blade. <laughs> Let's hope Gail doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties, just the once. I scout both the Hells and the Coast's Havens, and I destroy every fiend that dares put its eye on Faerun. Will takes a sharp breath. He's keeping something from you. Hmm. Yes, there is. I will be hunting Mazora. I won't let her claim one more soul, slay one more victim. I'm going to make my way to the Hells and tear the horns right off her damned head. Part of me wants to argue, to insist that I'd be killing Mazora for the good of the coast, but I can't. Not when I know I'm killing her out of revenge. You're right. I won't target Mazora. But should she cross my path in Avernus, I'll cut her to ribbons before she can so much as groan Zariel's name. With haste. Well, Will has a new goal in life, thanks to us, which is a good goal. Let's go ahead and grab that. Baldurin's Giant Slayer. This is a very powerful plus three great sword. One of the best great swords in the entire game. Chance that best two-handed sword in the entire game. 
It's very powerful. Equip it on anybody who uses two-handed weapons like myself. Now, if I have a potion of Colossus plus giant form, I'll probably do a lot more damage with it. Our uh, next stop is the Helm of Baldurin. You heard that right. Yeah, the Mind Flayer's helmet. Yeah, that was a shocking twist. Uh, I was definitely say on that, that matter. So, loot the battlefield up if you need to. You're not going to definitely come back here. There's the helmet. We'll go ahead and get it. <laughs> The Helm of Baldurin. The worm's tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansu's essence still lives within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Now because we grabbed the Helm of Baldurin, we got one of the best uh, helmets in the entire game. Well, in the entire series. One and two, uh, it was always powerful like that. I will definitely say it. Yeah, I'm not going to hide that. It's a really powerful helmet. Protects you against critical hits and anything else as uh, well. Definitely want to do this encounter big time. So we're going to go ahead and get to the uh, lower uh, city. I'm going to de definitely say this. That was a very fun fight. I love the trials. Even the uh, Courage one, that was the toughest one. Heck, the uh, Courage trial was tougher than the uh, Dragon fight itself. I did get lucky on uh, wheeling down, I think, almost half of answers hit points with smites which was uh great i uh did uh join everything let's uh go ahead and uh do that there you go so our next goal now is to go back to the lower city and start completing companion quests like crazy i'm not gonna go underground yet because i have a feeling it might trigger something else so anything above surface unless of course it's a uh, dungeon like this it's a okay still that was a very good fight I quickly uh, dropped Onsir's hit points down big time when I was uh, doing the smites and uh, quickly got uh, out of uh, phase uh, one. Phase one was the most deadly. As phase two wasn't that bad. If I didn't have the global invulnerability, I would have definitely lost that uh, fight as uh, well. I want to thank Gail for that. I had the perfect party set up for this uh, battle, even uh, Will too. And yes, Will you definitely want to bring for story-wise. Otherwise, yeah, you could just use potions and such and take out Shadow Heart from your party, but you're going to need Shadow Heart for uh, healing as uh, well. I uh, definitely will uh, definitely do that again on any future playthroughs, even if I am not using a two-handed weapon. I'll definitely get that for someone else who uh, needs it. I cannot wait for Giant Form to abuse. <laughs> Sounds like I do a lot more uh, damage or have some more fun with it. I'll save that for uh, certain boss fights. Did I go the wrong way? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. I uh, corrected myself. So that was a total victory. The uh, wine way that gave me like half the experience points until level 12. That was a very nice uh, bonus as well. So let's uh, go to the lower city and then I'll uh, definitely stop the veal there at a nice uh, spot. Uh, there we are. So here's a recap for this uh, video. After completing the four trials from the previous video, we uh, set up our uh, spots to uh, take down Onsir the Dragon. Talk to Onsir the Dragon and start the fight. After that, the twist came. Very shocking. I wore uh, the uh, helmet and all sorts of other gear from the both bar uh, gate one and two games. After that, got uh, Baldurin's Giant Slayer and the Helm of Baldurin, which my main character is now using. In the next bar's gate three PC walkthrough video, I'm going to go ahead and do some more exploring and also swap out a few team members to keep them uh, fresh. This is it from my Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough Act 3 on Sir the Dragon boss fight video. This is Lord Fence signing out. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.